Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 63 for multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to work on the customer dashboard. Okay, so we will fetch here the total orders, total wait list, uh, sorry, wish, wish list, total addresses, right? So let's start to do this. So we'll open the customer address panel uh, customer dash dashboard panel sorry okay and here we need to fetch the data right so what we will do i will simply this is the address list let's use the base url and all of these right so here we have right so we are fetching the data we are okay so we have set up the base url customer id let's say uh, let's say um, count list right and this will be set count list and we need to use the use state and use effect okay use state and use effect uh, i will not use the x use i will just simply uh, run this for fetch api to fetch the data from the server right so what we have let's see so fetch url what we need to do customer will say dashboard right customer dashboard this is a custom url so we'll create this so now we will say set count list uh, what we will do here we will just simply console dot console dot data dot result right so now set count list and uh, okay so now let's go to the url in the backend api let's say we have name and uh, here we have customer customer okay so here we'll copy this one let's copy this one right and let's uh, paste it here and we'll say customer uh, what is the url customer dashboard customer dashboard slash int pk right here we will pass that uh, will pass the customer id right so we'll say customer dashboard name is same right and then we'll go to uh here we have a customer dashboard plus customer id right and uh, everything else is correct let's end with the slash okay now it will hit this url and this url will hit this view so let's create the view so here we have a view and what we will do i'll copy this one don't need to csrf exam because we will call the fetch method we will call the get method sorry we will call the get method so no need for this we'll just simply pass the data right so here we have, we have pk and this will be customer id right so we'll say customer id right now we need to count the data we'll say filter customer equal to customer id equal to id sorry id here right and this will say total address equal to this will return the count right and by default we will say zero right or no need to do this we will simply if actually no need to do this also mm. 
because it always returns some value right so either it will be zero or count right so we'll say total address total address and total wish list and total orders so we'll say total orders total wish list right so now here so here we have uh, we'll say order and let's check the that what we are how we are connecting with the order with the customer so we have order okay this is fine so order customer id this is also correct so total orders here we have right and then we should have total wish list right wish list total wish list so what we have for the wish list okay and what is the model saying okay fine so total wish list total address okay everything is correct right so let's check that in the browser that what we are getting from the server so if you go to the network here we are and let's check this response total orders zero total wish list zero total address zero okay but we have addresses and uh, wish list also orders we have also orders why this is making zero okay so we have this oh sorry it's not pk it's pk should be the area. all right so nothing what we are requesting customer dashboard oh, customer dashboard one let's say customer dashboard one why this is sending one let's check sorry let's check let's check in the api and here we have a customer one everything related to one why this is not fetching the data let's see customer right oh so it's not post it's get now let's go to dashboard here we have response still nothing and if we console this oh sorry, 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 sorry. i'm mixing the javascript and python uh, so customer id let's see none it means we are not getting anything so customer dashboard uh, customer dashboard dashboard okay okay customer dashboard mm. customer id data dot result undefined let's check that what we are passing in the customer id one oh, correct the base url what is the base url uh base url header this is correct also and when we when we hit this it is hitting this url
is hitting this URL then request dot get okay no need to do this we can simply just fetch the data all right so this is correct now no need to we use this when we uh, when we need to get the data from the uh, query you uh, from the url queries url parameters but because we are uh, passing this directly so we can do this right so no need to do this okay so how we are fetching the data total order total wish list total address okay so let's see now it should be the object so we'll say total address by default zero right and then we have total wish list total orders right so total wish list total orders right so all are zero and now when it's fetching the data then in the console undefined okay result not undefined but objects right so what we will do here uh, set count list set count list total address total address data dot total address right and the same for other wish list total orders right so here we have now we can just simply count list dot total orders right and then we have total wish list and then we have total address right so this is perfect okay now we need to link this like this we have url order wish list and address okay so let's go to the sidebar and just copy the urls uh, sidebar right so we have this kind of thing okay so what we need we need you we need link hmm? so import this link and order wish list from here link uh, what is this orders okay so this is order so no need for the for this class right and uh, we just need to copy this one and paste here and no need the anchor here right so copy this paste here actually mm, let's copy only this one paste here paste here let's say link let's say link so total wish list everything is okay okay so wish list uh, uh, here we have wish list address uh, addresses addresses okay so when we click on this it will open the address dashboard wish list dashboard total orders uh -huh. this is saying two this is saying one why and this is fetching all the orders we have only one order and this is fetching two okay i understand actually this is fetching orders from the context cookies okay we'll see that that why this is not uh why this is showing two orders right so from 
so we have completed the dashboard functionality here now we have a uh, one thing that why this is showing two orders right we'll check this because in the in the api it is showing one and it should show here it should also show here one it will check this that why this is showing two right so we have completed the dashboard and i think we have completed the customer panel next we will start the vendor panel so where vendor can add the product track his product that how much sell how much uh, what are the status of the all the products right and uh, how many customers uh, we have a vendor panel here product orders everything so approve okay so this is just a design of course we didn't work on this so we have a lot of thing in the vendor uh, panel so we'll see that and uh, we'll complete that as soon as possible so thank you so much for watching the video and please share subscribe like this channel and if you need the source code of this project then you can simply go to github.com slash code artisan lab and you can just simply go to multi vendor e-commerce website in django django rest framework and react js and you can follow the uh, steps and uh, i will provide you the access of the source code you just need to pay whatever amount i have given here right and this amount uh, is changeable because uh, according to the pro progress of the project right but if the benefit is here today if you uh, if you buy this today right then you will get the access till the end of the project at this price right so thank you so much for watching the video and please also check out the projectsplaza.com where you will get source code of a lot of the projects from the django and all the other things with the very lowest price okay so thank you let's meet in the next video thank you so much